Hi, I'm Mike Stanton. It's September 20th. This is the BAM Weekly Muni Market Update here with Chris Flossy from BAM's Capital Markets Desk. Chris, the week we were all waiting for, the uh, September Fed meeting, and it was a little bit of a surprise, or list, uh, what, uh, what, what came out of it? Right. So before the action, that we had some differing views in our own desk on what would happen. But ultimately, there was the 50 basis point cut from the Fed. So after that cut, you know, we saw some market dislocation. We saw some yield, yield curve steepening. Um, overall for the week, munis outperformed anywhere from 8 to 11 basis points on the curve. Um, after that action happened, we saw some secondary trading pickup. Um, secondary trading and um, bid wanted activity were above the, the weekly norms we've seen in, in recent weeks. So um, the market was ready to digest that that action. It'll be interesting to see if there's follow through on that secondary market activity. You know, part of the issue, I think, this week is that the new issue calendar was lighter. A lot of issuers chose not to sell new issue bonds this week, uh, anticipating some volatility around the Fed. Next week, uh, that's certainly not the case. Back up to a $15 billion calendar. I've heard some whispers that it could even grow from there. Um, what do you think? Uh, what are you looking at next week? Is the focus turning back into that primary market? Yeah, I mean, like you said, it's a $15 billion calendar. There are three deals in excess of a billion on their own. We have large New York issuers, New York City Muni Water, uh, Port Authority. There's also a lot of airport activity next week. A lot of um, airports are looking to fund their capital improvement program. Lee County, Florida, Sacramento, California, and Charleston are three that are coming to market next week. So it'll be interesting to see how the, uh, the market digests those. Luckily, there has been another week of inflows into mutual funds, bringing the, it's the 12th consecutive week and bringing the, the yearly total up to close to 25 billion. So um, we'll see what happens with that cash and see how it um, digests that new, that new issue activity. And certainly whether it continues to be followed through, some of the thought is that uh, investors or retail investors in particular are trying to lock in higher yields before they, they trend lower. So far, the, uh, the long end is not trending lower, uh, you know, partially because I guess presumably an improved overall economic outlook due to the cut. Right. I agree. Uh, this week, uh, there were a few transactions, uh, as I said, a much, much lighter calendar than, uh, than we'd seen many of the weeks, uh, certainly in the second half of this year. Any transactions stand out to you on the BAM insured calendar? Yeah, I mean, overall, we had a pretty solid week at BAM. We had 290 million price um, of insured paper. We had 24 series across five states this week. Texas was a bulk of that activity with 18 of those series with the BAM guarantee. Um, so it was a pretty solid week for us overall. And certainly that's something we telegraphed earlier in our last um, Muni Credit Cast podcast a couple of weeks ago. Uh, that Texas market, uh, you know, has a seasonal uh, tinge to it. The, the municipal utility districts tend to sell at the end of the year and uh, their activity is certainly living up to it this year. So uh, we'll see how that calendar stays robust, you know, I, I think at least until November. Right. We're definitely seeing some follow through into the, into the upcoming weeks. That forward calendar for that util municipal utility district is still, still for pretty strong. Very good. And also a very bullish tone this week at the Bomb Buyer Infrastructure Conference. Um, some people noting, and we were just looking at the numbers, only about 30 percent of the money from the federal infrastructure law back in 2021 has been paid out to issuers uh, and to, to in grants so far. Um, and that is starting to accelerate and it's starting to accelerate muni bond activity because uh, local governments either have to raise matching funds or are building companion projects to federally funded work. So uh, a really bullish tone for new issuance uh, in the market overall from that conference. We'll see uh, how that plays out. Uh, really focused on 25 and 26, not even just the end of 24. So uh, a good run, uh, runway here. Right. Thanks for your time this week, Chris. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks, Mike.